Hello Capricorn, this is your reading for, okay, <laughs> the 5th through the 7th. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for coming, showing up to support me. Let's see what messages do we have for Capricorn in love. Um, that was a Nine of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles that just fell out here. Um, that's all about being single, but, you know, feeling like you want more, okay, with the Nine of Pentacles, with the Ace of Pentacles, feeling like you want more, okay? Maybe um, you guys feel like you're by yourself and you want to be in a committed relationship, or somebody here feels like they want to be in a committed relationship. These cards just fell out here. Hmm. This is the Four of Wands. Then we have the Two of Pentacles, not being so sure about a relationship. I feel like a lot of you guys feel alone in relationships here. Okay. Um, then we have the world there, which is wrapping up a cycle. Um, something that you guys have accomplished. An ending is here. Okay. But the ending of this world is all about learning lessons, learning lessons from things that you've experienced here and starting over, basically, okay, with the new lessons that you have learned. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. Want to do things the right way, really not knowing what to do or how to do it, <coughs> but definitely wanting to get what you deserve. <coughs> Mm. Excuse me. <clears throat> Wanting to get what you deserve and do the right thing. Okay. So let me go ahead and pull some cards <clears throat> for you guys. Let's see what's going on with my Capricorns. <clears throat> the Five of Wands. Mm. Wanting stability. I think there's a lot that you guys, you know, you look at other people sometimes and you probably see how happy they are and just, it's just like, you know, why can't I have that? Okay. Why can't I have that stability? That five of wands energy there. <clears throat> okay. And then we have the chariot with the will of fortune. This is all about being successful, moving forward. You know, executing changes in your life that are going to lead you down a successful path. Okay? A successful relationship. Moving out of conflict. Okay? Doing um, the right and necessary things. Let's see what else we've got here. There's that Ten of Pentacles. We saw that Nine of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles wanting something more. I'm feeling like a lot of you, a lot of you guys, want to actually be um, married here. You're definitely, if you're not wanting to be married, you want that stable home life, okay, where you can actually work with the people and not feeling like, you know, you're working against them or they're working against you, um, that there's a divide between you, you know. Please show me more about the Five of Wands energy here. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. That's you guys. It's like you just want to be nurtured and you want to, um, you know, have that kind of relationship where you guys kind of hold each other up if necessary. Okay, one with there is faithfulness, um, where you guys can actually talk out your differences. It's what I'm getting here. It's like you want something more. <clears throat> Please show me more about the chariot energy for Capricorn. Please show me more about the chariot energy. The eight of swords. You're really trying to figure out how you can have um, what it is that you feel like you deserve. You're feeling like, you know, you, you don't want much. And it's not too much to ask that um, you have reciprocity in a relationship, that you have uh, stability, happiness, okay, financial support, you know. Let's see. Please show me more about the Wheel of Fortune energy. 
the Knight of Wands. You're wanting to free yourself. You're wanting to free yourself. One minute you feel like you can be successful, the next minute you feel like, okay, you know, with someone here. But the next minute you feel like, you know, this is just not working out. Maybe I need to move on by myself. Maybe there's somebody else out there that's better suited for me. Because if this person does not want to work with me, um, be with me, then I may need to change up my, um, my course of direction, you know, and explore other opportunities, other options here. This person is in and out or, you know, they just keep giving me, you know, this, this headache or makes me feel like, you know, I'm in this by myself. Then I may as well just leave. Let's see. Please show me more about this Ten of Pentacles energy. The Six of Pentacles. You definitely want reciprocity. You don't want to feel like you're giving more to a relationship than the other person or that you want it more than that person. Um, you also don't want to feel like this person is not giving their all to you because they're giving to somebody else. Okay? Let's see what energy is coming towards you guys. Please show me the energy that's coming towards Capricorn. What energy is coming towards Capricorn? Please show me the energy that's coming towards Capricorn. Energy that's coming towards Capricorn. Ace of Cups. Self-love. Self-expression. You know. Let's see what else. Queen of Swords. You want to know if somebody still cares for you. I'm definitely getting that you guys question whether or not somebody cares for you. Please show me more about the Ace of Cups here. The Five of Pentacles. You're feeling very hurt because you're feeling like somebody um, may be giving to someone else or you're feeling like this person does not love you anymore. You're feeling rejected. You're feeling rejected. Feeling like you still care for this person, you still love this person, but you question whether or not they still love you. You question whether or not they, you know, want to leave you or or you question why they've left you. If they're giving it someone else here. Please show me more about the Queen of Swords. The Page of Wands, yeah. You want to know. Do you want to know if, you know, they're going to be with you through thick and thin or not? Are they going to leave you in a lurch, stranded, by yourself, hurt, rejected, or not? You just want to know. You want to know. Because you're not sure. Okay? So we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, Taurus is here. Um... Virgos here. That feels Sagittarius, Piscean energy present. Gemini energy. I think I've already said that. Cancer, Leo. Mhm. Mm for sure. All right, guys. So that's what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you soon.